Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, also too, I want to say hello to my new subscribers. Some of you may or may not know, I'm not going to be doing makeup in this video. As you can tell by the title, I'm going to be doing a hair tips video. I'm going to be giving you guys some tips on how I grew my hair from pencil short length, um, which I'll show pictures here in a few minutes, um, pencil short length to mid bra length, which is where I'm at right now. And um, I don't know, I just figured, let me just do the video. I didn't think for a minute that I needed to do a video. I'm going to have a separate video uh, coming up next, you guys, with my favorite hair products. So stay tuned for that as well. I'm going to be giving you guys a few tips. Um, I have quite a few, but I'm going to see if I can just narrow it down to a few tips. Things that I did that worked for me that helped my hair to grow. Um, my hair is super curly. Um, so, of course, it looks shorter than what it is when you blow it out. Have you, If you guys haven't seen my hair video where I went and got my hair blown out, um, I'll post that link up top so you can check that out. But my hair is a mid bra length, bra strap length. And you guys, excuse my hair right now. I just washed it, literally. And so, currently, right now, I'm air drying. So, excuse my hair being in Roman noodle status because... To me, that's what it looks like. It looks like a bowl of ramen noodles. Ramen, ramen. Some people say it different. I call it ramen. My hair looks like ramen noodles. So, excuse that. I'm air drying. Before we get started, don't forget, you guys know the drill, don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, and share the videos with your friends. Um, new subscribers are always welcome. More than happy to have you. Don't forget also, too, to turn on your notifications. That little bell that you see to your right um, below. Turn on your notifications so that way you'll be notified every time I upload a video. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, step number one. What you want to do is you want to stop uh, relaxing your hair and you want to stop bleaching your hair or coloring your hair. You want to stop doing that. Those harsh chemicals uh, start your growth. You hair, your hair will grow, but you'll see more growth once you go natural. Like your hair will just shoot out. Um, you know, it's just a lot easier that way. Um, and I do have my hair colored here. I kind of have like a glaze. I get like a glaze. It's like a non-dye, I think. A non-bleach. Something like that. Um, so, and as you can see, I'm growing it out. And I'm probably not going to dye my hair anymore after this. I'm probably just going to grow it out for a while. Or if I do get a color, it'll be something like a brown. It won't be harsh to where they'll have to bleach it. And if you do color, do once a year. To stay away from blondes because that is so harsh on your hair. For me, I found that it was so harsh. Uh, I won't even do highlights because it breaks the hair. Um, just keep it soft, you know, and, and just stay away from that as much as possible if you can. Number two, the less you touch it, the more it grows. So, back in June 2011, I didn't want to do my hair. I was just, I just didn't care. I was too busy. I had a lot going on. Didn't want to comb my hair. So, I kind of just washed it every couple days, let it air dry washed it, conditioned it, let it air dry, and then I put on a wig, a cute wig or something. And the wig looks something like this, it's just it was thicker and longer. So I just put on a cute wig and I would just tease it out. My hair was really big. Kind of the way I wear it now. From the wigs, I went to the weaves. I was getting sew-ins done. And I wore wigs, no, I wore weaves for about a year and a half, probably two years. Um, and then I got tired of that. And then by that time, my hair was literally dry and straightened my hair was this length i think it grew out to this length straightened so see how much your hair will just grow when it's when you let it be in its natural state and you don't do as much to it like number three um low maintenance hairstyles protective hairstyles that ties along in with you know getting um cornrows braids stuff like that wearing it up in a bun um, and then when I do wear it up in a bun, um, it started to thin out my ends a little bit. So when I do wear a bun now, I wear a scrunchie. So that way, that, that way there's no tension on the ends of my hair. And I don't pull my hair too tight because pulling your hair too tight can pull out your edges. It will thin out your edges. Um, thank God I don't have that issue, but uh, it will thin out your ends. I know that for sure. So I use a scrunchie when I do put my hair up in a bun. I mainly do uh, wash and goes like the first three or four days of the week and then I'll do uh, low ponytail or it'll end up in a bun. Most likely it'll end up in a bun. Number four, my experience with weaves. Okay, so 
I went and got my hair braided and I went and got my hair braided and um, I noticed that my hair grew but when I took the braiding out took the weave out and I was getting the braids taken out my hair grew but it, it, it looked thin to me it wasn't as thick as it is now so that's what kind of took me away from weaves stuff like that I've never done a lace front even though the thought has crossed my mind I've never done a lace front um, yeah so that's another thing just for me I, I don't do weaves now because I think the braiding part thins out your hair and, you, and my hair wasn't even braided super super duper tight so you know weaves may work for some people it just did not work for me it's not my thing so that was that Number five, um, I drink tons of water. I drink minimum of five bottles a day, at the most seven or eight bottles a day. Um, per my doctor, that's all I needed to drink was five bottles of water per day. That's what I need to drink now. That is what I drink now. So you have to hydrate yourself. Stay really hydrated. That is, it does affect your hair growth. It's very important. You know, not drinking water affects your hair, your skin, everything, basically. So drink lots of water. Number six. Um, I started taking biotin pills. I'm pretty sure that a lot of you are familiar with those. Um, you can buy those at any uh, drugstore, grocery store. I bought the biotin pills by Nature's Bounty. And um, I bought the 10,000 MCGs. So I bought the strongest ones that you can have. Some people take hair vitamins. Some people, you know what I noticed when um, I think I got pregnant in 2013 with my son. And the doctor gave me the prescribed prenatal pills. Before she gave me the prescribed, I was just taking the regular prenatal gummies. And she told me, she was like, those little gummies aren't really doing much for you. She gave me the prescribed. She said, you take the ones that I give you, they're prescribed. I took those pills and my hair was just like, just grew out so much. Like, it was just so flourishing the way my hair grew out. And of course, a lot, I'm sure a lot of that had to do with my hormones and you know, all that kind of stuff. But those prenatal pills, and I took the biotin pills at the same time, my hair was growing like wildfires. It was crazy. So that was also a good thing. Um, number seven, I do protein treatments. I only do my protein treatments once a month. Um, and like I said, I'll show you exactly what I use for my protein treatments in my next video because I'm going to do a hair products video. Um, it's important that your hair gets enough protein, so I do protein treatments once a month. Pretty much at the beginning of every month, of every month, I wash, condition my hair, do a protein treatment, and you know that'll be it. Um, eight, I do hair masks. Um, I also do hair masks twice a month. Um, yeah, I do the hair mask twice a month. You want to make sure you do that. Um, and then what I do is I, I put the hair mask on, put it all over, you know, try to finger detangle my hair, comb it out or whatever, go take a shower, get some steam into it, or just cover it up in the cap and get some steam into it um, for 15, 20 minutes or whatever, get out, rinse it out. And uh, I just make sure that I, I get, the, get that protein in my hair uh, monthly to get, keep my hair strong. Number nine, I use growth oils and conditioners. My leave-in conditioners are, um, which I'll show you those products, uh, they are growth stimulating conditioners and the oils that I use. Pretty much every product that I try to get, I make sure that it's growth stimulating, that it promotes growth. Um, I don't really um, do scalp massage that much. I do it when I remember it, and it's probably once or twice a month. I'm not really, I, that's not really one of my big habits. And, and I know I can, I've seen online that that is a thing with some people. They, they do, um, they do the scalp massages. I'm sure it does help, but it worked for me. Um, I really didn't, I wasn't doing it at all a few years ago, and my hair still grew. So, it says a lot. Um, now I do it once or twice a month and um, probably once a month maybe not even that just to see and I haven't seen anything just yet I'm sure my hair is growing but I just figured your hair will grow anyway whether or not you massage your scalp or not number 10 most importantly um, I used to comb my hair when I first started going natural uh, I used to comb my hair 
with wire to comb. Um, now our finger detangled my hair. I have less breakage. I have less shedding. Stuff like that. So finger, just finger detangling works for me. Um, some of you may not like it. Some of you might want to use a wire to comb either or. Whichever works for you. But I do finger detangling. And I do it with my hair wet. And I mainly do it with the hair. The shampoo in the hair or conditioner. I do both actually. I finger detangle after my first shampoo. Put in my, my shampoo again. And then I finger detangle again in sections. Then I rinse. And then put in my conditioner. And then I finger detangle again. Just to make sure there aren't any knots or anything like that in my hair. So um, that is also a big plus. I sleep with a silk bonnet. I don't sleep on a satin pillowcase. I can't sleep on anything satin because it just makes me hot. And I'm already hot natured. But I use a bonnet. I never sleep without my bonnet. Like tonight, I'm going to pineapple my hair once it dries. I pineapple it, use my silk scarf, and then I put the bonnet on top. So that way, all the hair that's sticking out, when I take it down, my hair is going to look like this in the morning. Just going to be, you probably can see my hair shrinking right now as we speak. Because <laughs> at first, before I started this video, it was here, and now it's shrinking. So, um, yeah, make sure you use whichever your preference is, silk pillowcases or silk bonnets. I prefer silk bonnets and scarves. That's what I do. Okay. Um, um, try not to straighten your hair too much. I personally, I only get my hair straightened one, two times max a year. Um, I know a lot of people that have straightened their hair so much because they just prefer their hair straight. And they have gorgeous hair. They prefer their hair straight though. Um, and they it's ruined their curl pattern. Like you can see this little piece of hair right here. I don't know if you guys can see it. I asked my stylist, I'm like, is this just dead hair? She said, no, it's not dead. It's not split or anything. She said it's just uh, heat trained. Because I was asking, I was like, should I cut it? I'm okay with clipping it. And I'm still thinking about clipping it. But um, she said, no, this is just heat trained hair. Because see, you notice this is curled. And this here, it goes straight with a little bit of curl at the end. And she was like, no, it's just heat trained. Um, that was number 12 that I gave you, by the way. We're on number 13. Uh, I try to get my hair trimmed every six to eight weeks. I go every eight weeks. So every two months I'm getting my hair trimmed. Basically, I got a diva cut. That's what I got. So that's the shape that I wanted. So I got my hair reshaped for that. Um, so I got a shape and a trim. But it, it didn't feel like she took off a lot, though. But always get your hair trimmed. Some people can go longer without getting trimmed. Some people don't get their hair trimmed every six to eight weeks. Some people can go... Um, once a year and get a haircut and they actually like their hair is just long and thick and beautiful but me I, I just don't feel comfortable with that so I get my hair trimmed every six to eight weeks and she's probably only taking off probably about this much maybe not even that because that's probably how much I have in split ends uh, and I'm just amazed that you know being natural can do that can make your hair grow so much to be so thick and so healthy um when I first went natural I tried to convince my and I saw my hair growing I told my sister my older sister I was like um you know you need to go natural get out that creamy crack and join this team of, you know Jesus and berries and so she's like no 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 and then a few years ago she finally stopped perming her hair she went natural and now her hair is just like thick and long and the healthiest I've ever seen so being natural is I, I think it's a beautiful thing uh, of course, it takes a little bit of extra love and care. It's a little extra work, but it's worth it because your hair is going to be healthy and beautiful and it's going to grow and it's going to be thick. Who doesn't want that? Um, stay tuned. I'll have another video posted maybe in a week or so, maybe sooner um, with my favorite hair products. And I will show you the products that I'm using. I have a ton of products, but I'll show you my favorite products that I use in the order from shampoo all the way to the end with, you know, leave-ins and gels, what I use to set my hair for the week. So uh, stay tuned for that. And um, thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.